This is RadioFire.com, yours truly, Diamond K, in here. Thank you for joining me. Of course, we're broadcasting from the Radio on Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. So a mother is upset that her son has been suspended over the Pledge of Allegiance. So this story is coming to us by way of Florida. So, you know, people are not forced in this country to participate in the Pledge of Allegiance. But they don't want to. It's not something that is mandatory at this point. However, an 11-year-old Polk County student refused to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And after explaining his reasons, he was kicked out of class and eventually arrested for being disruptive and disobeying commands to calm down and leave the classroom. At the heart of this matter, a substitute teacher, nonetheless. So, it's, it's ironic that the school wants to side with the substitute teacher, and I'm going to explain that part in a minute. But the student was suspended for 11 days. Lawton Childs Middle Academy in Lakeland, Florida. Earlier this month, the sixth grader was arrested and taken to a juvenile detention center charged with disrupting a school function and resisting arrest without violence. The student's mother, Dakira Talbot, said that her son is in gifted classes. So she's saying that he's smart and he's been bullied in the past. Now, the word bullied always strikes me as questionable because uh, people label bullying so broadly that I don't know if everything falls under that, that category. But nonetheless, the mother, Ms. Talbot, says that she's upset, she's angry, and she's hurt. More so for her son, she said. Her son has never been through anything like this. And she feels like it should have been handled differently. If any disciplinary action should have been taken, it should have been with the school. He should not have been arrested. And I agree with that. Uh, why did they see the need to arrest this young man? Um, it is beyond me. Now, the incident started when a substitute teacher that this is a teacher who's not the real teacher. She's in for the real teacher. Anyway, the substitute teacher asked the student to stand for the pledge. The student reportedly told the sub teacher that the flag was racist and the national anthem was offensive to black people. So, you know, here we are in the middle of the school year. And we're having a situation. So clearly the student does not stand for the national anthem. And the regular teacher is aware of this. And everybody doesn't have to stand. Even when I was in school, everybody didn't stand for the national anthem. Most people did. Some people did not. Um, that is fine. Nobody gives them no flack. If you don't want to stand, it's on you, right? But the people that want to stand, they stand and, you know, put their heart, hand over their heart and, and, and go through the whole thing. But that, that's either whether you want to or not. You know what I mean? Like many things, we have freedom of choice, allegedly, in this country. So if the kid didn't want to stay in his parents, you know, instructed him that he did not have to. I don't know why the substitute teacher was, was uh, flipping out. But of course, they're not a regular teacher. But they should be trained in no basic stuff. Basic civics. Freedom of speech. Freedom of expression. You have that here. Hello? In a statement to the district, the substitute teacher reportedly told the boy, why, if it was so bad here, did you not go to live in another place? Student said, 
They brought me here. She replied by saying, well, you can always go back because I came here from Cuba and the day I feel I'm not welcome here anymore, I would find another place to live. She's having this conversation with a student. So a Cuban refugee is telling this young, young man that uh, she feels welcome here and he should assimilate within the culture like she did. She wrote in her report, then I had to call the office because I did not want to continue dealing with him. She did not want to continue dealing with him. She should have let the student sit and continued with the allegiance. However, in her quest for control over the young student, she had to take it to the next level. So, of course, he's upset. And she mishandled the situation completely. If he didn't want to stand, he didn't have to stand. She should have kept it moving. But no. And she was wrong. She was, she was dead wrong. Uh, and the mother agrees with that. She says she was wrong. She was out of her place. If she felt like there was an issue with my son not standing for the flag, she should have resolved it in a different manner than she did. Uh, Miss Dakira tabard said now according to the arrest affidavit the student was arrested by the school resource officer because he refused to follow multiple commands which were what what were the commands you know what i mean she threw him out of the classroom and they give it what other commands are they giving them you must stand up i mean what this is crazy now he repeatedly called the school leaders racist and was disruptive. You know what's funny to me about this? They're not denying the fact that they're racist. How dare he say that we are racist? Uh, they said that he threatened the school resource officer to do what? You know, I'm going to not stand. What, what did he threaten to do? But anyway, the uh, the, the principal, um, he, he, he threatened... To he threatened the resource officer and the principal to be fired, and he beat up the teacher. Um, this student supposedly said this. The student who was with his mother uh, during an interview with the Spectrum Bay Nine News said that he did not threaten to beat the teacher, but he didn't deny threatening uh, to get the principal and the resource officer fired. Uh, interestingly, um, Miss Talbot is a work. She works with the Poor and Minority Justice Association uh, to get some help with this. So she's she's trying to uh, see what can happen here. She doesn't want this charge on her 11 year old's record. And I don't think that I think they can drop the charges. Come on. Now, a spokeswoman for the school district. Florida said that students are not required to participate in the Pledge of Allegiance. Similar to the NFL, you're not required to. But the substitute teacher was not aware of this. What, did she just wake up that day? What do you mean she's not aware of this? This is what I'm talking about, about them making excuses for the substitute teacher. Now, where I'm from, nobody makes excuses for substitute teachers. Substitute teachers usually don't get any respect. So this teacher had a chip on her shoulder because normally students don't listen to the substitute teacher anyway. Now, the spokeswoman said that the sub teacher will no longer be able to work in any of the district's schools. And the district is still looking into this matter. Uh, so if, let me first say students should respect the substitute teacher. Uh, it, it often happens that they don't see any real consequence with the teacher. Unless it, it happened like with me in the third grade, my teacher got pregnant and uh, then we got a substitute teacher who subsequently was there for the rest of the year. But anyway, no, such is such is life. Uh, do you think that this student should have been arrested for not standing up? But I mean, let me know your thoughts. In the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio On Fire.